year. Plumlee's been energetic as always, very efficient, and Suleiman really seems to have found his niche this year. Playing a ton of minutes, but he's much more efficient this year in the minutes that he's playing. That was the second foul. You don't see these Wisconsin guards miss many free throws. An excellent free throw shooting team, but especially the guards. And a team, you always like this stat, they have made more free throws than their opponents have attempted this year. And Wisconsin still has not made a two-point field goal in this game. Until now. What a hesitation move. Jackson has a size and strength advantage over Tyus Jones. And just off that little drag screen, he's able to back it up, hesitate, and get all the way to the rim. Because Wisconsin's guys all can shoot it, you've got to stay with your man. You can't just pack it into the lane. Otherwise, Jackson will be able to pick you apart, hit it to an open three-point shooter. And that opens up the lane. And Jefferson has really done a great job as a junior with his rebounding this year. Jackson with a reverse. Second basket with the right hand for the lefty, Trayvon Jackson, to bring the Badgers back within four. Well, it shows his strength again. One of the stronger point guards in the country. And almost lost it back door. Decker! Three point shooter. Jones and Cook in the early part of the season, Jay, did a great job playing together in the backcourt. And another good move on the inside by Trayvon Jackson. And Brown's got Cook on him inside. Stop and go by Jackson. Pulls up for the jumper and knocks it down. You talked about it as well as they'd like. Jackson into traffic, draws the foul. And he's strong enough to go into either Quinn Cook or Tyus Jones, but he can also dish it if there's help. Look at the shooting by the Blue Devils tonight. 60% in the first half, and even better than that here in the second half. Last year it wasn't a, a great defensive team. This year much better defensively, much better putting pressure on the ball. From the weak side, nobody rotated down. Just a quick drop off, easy basket. And it's back to nine for the Blue Devils. Jackson knocks it down to six. Now Wisconsin trying to lift up that Duke defense to try to get some driving lanes. Not going to mismatch here. And Jackson over Okafor for the three. Trayvon Jackson keeping the Badgers in it right now. He has really successfully attacked these switches. The screen kind of pick and roll action up top. And Jalil Okafor switches out, gives him a little bit of space. Jackson, instead of driving by, where he might give Okafor the chance to catch up and block or bother a shot that he's trying to take at the basket. There's the switch. Jackson the drive. And Okafor the foul. That'll be number... Rayvon Jackson has made so many smart decisions off those switches. Getting Okafor in the middle of the floor where he can either pull up with somebody coming in. It is Emil Jefferson coming in. So the first time tonight that Duke goes without one of their true... He has been magnificent on the road in his first big time road game. Jay, how about 20 points, 4 assists, and 1 turnover in 34 minutes. Jackson trying to keep the Badgers in it. Time... Same kind of deal. You just go underneath. You go underneath Frank Kaminsky, he's going to pull the trigger on that. He has done a really nice job when he's gotten a switch. He's been able to either drive it or pull up. And what, what would Wisconsin be doing without Trayvon Jackson in this ballgame? He's been great. Jackson driving. And Winslow fouls him. Let it play. For one of the NBA guys, you go, wow. And Trayvon Jackson made some plays, period, that made you go, wow. He was terrific. Unless they keep Manning a cover.